Hello again, thank you for joining me once again to continue our reflections from the Sermon on the Mount. We're up to Matthew chapter 6 and verse 22. Uh, yesterday we were looking at um, storing up for ourselves treasures and uh, Jesus concluded with the words in verse 21, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And he shifts now from uh, the heart to the eyes in verse 22. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. Then, if then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? It's a metaphorical uh, connection that Jesus is picking up on that's often used in scripture. The heart and the eye, where we set our heart or where we focus our eye, are seen as um, illusions to, um, or allusions I should say, to uh, the, the things that we hold important in life. And what Jesus is saying here is that our eyes should be focused on what is truly important. And this picks up from where our treasure is. Um, if our uh, focus is on feathering our own nest, on, on gaining as much um, money or as many resources, as much um, capital behind us for our own good, then that's where those are the dark things that our eye will be focused on. If instead our focus is on glorifying God, on serving him and on living for him, then that allows the light of his word to come into our lives. Um, in Psalm 119, in verse 19, it says this, I have fixed my eyes on all your commandments. And uh, I think Jesus is kind of harking back to that and is um, pulling from the Songbook of David to help us to, or to help emphasise to us, uh, the need for us to fix our eyes on the things that God requires, to fix our eyes, to focus our attention, to set our heart upon uh, the things that God asks of his disciples. And it's that that brings light and life into the whole of our bodies and into the whole of our actions. It's hard though, isn't it? Sometimes we want to fix our eyes on other things that look attractive to us and we set to one side, perhaps forget or deliberately ignore uh, the teachings of God. But we're always able to bring back our focus. We're always able to set our sights again and to renew attention and to allow the light of God's teaching, the light of God's wisdom, the light of God's love to break into our hearts afresh. Let's pray uh, for that to happen. If the eye is the lamp of the body, if your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. Come Lord, by your Holy Spirit, will you fill us with light, fill us with your light and the desire to follow your ways, I pray for your glory. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Uh, it's great to spend time with you. I look forward to seeing you again on other days. God bless you.